you. Welcome, welcome to week six of Ed 484. This week we're talking about phonology. And phonology is the study of pronunciation and the way we wrap our words, wrap our mouths around those words in different foreign languages. And as you are working with emergent bilingual students, we're going to take a look at how phonology will impact the way you instruct your students. So you'll be exposed to um, probably or possibly a variety of non-standard ways of speaking English. Um, with all sorts of different accents, and um, at some point you might want to consider ooh, where do you stand in the area of phonology? Do you, um, well, how will you respond if a student says, no, I want to speak just like an American, or somebody asks you, hey, can you teach me to speak British English? <laughs> um, these are not far-fetched questions. <laughs> um, for the content section this week, we're going to be looking at five terms related to phonology for your discourse journal. And I want you to unpack a little bit about how um, those terms inform your understanding of the challenges that emergent bilingual students have. Um, you can make a chart or a list, and this should be kind of in your own words. Um, the second, what you'll be doing is taking a look at the contrastive analysis hypothesis and giving your own take on that, whether you feel like that's a um, significant hypothesis in the area of phonology, or if it's one that you're not sure that you agree with. And to tell us in your own words, um, how would you see that playing out in practice, whatever point of view you choose to take? Um, in teaching your emergent bilingual students. And then finally, in the content section, um, you're going to respond to the importance of phonology in teaching language. Um, and just kind of for you personally, is it big or is it little? Um, and what role will it play in your teaching? And how will you respond if a student or uh, an administrator says you need to pay close attention to um, the pronunciation and the phonology aspect of the language educational process? Um, or you need to just ignore it. Um, so you might be in a variety of situations, some which ask you to do the opposite of what you yourself feel is um, important. So consider that as well. In the application section, we're going to watch a video about a Russian girl speaking to her, her teacher about her family and describing her family to her teacher. And we're going to um, analyze, analyze some of the phonolo phonological factors of her Russian accented English. And what you'll do for um, after watching her speak about um, her family and describing them is pick out some very specific um, areas that you're noticing that she will need to improve. And also um, phonologically what, um, what things she's doing with her English as she's speaking it. Um, and Finally, you're going to come up with two to three instructional strategies to help her move through some of the phonological um, miscues that she's making. So um, you're going to support her through trying to correct those, and you'll want to cite sources about where you get the information of how you're going to help her. There's all sorts of information available on the, the Moodle site for this class for this week um, with regards to phonology. And then, of course, um, there is the authentic questions discussion. And I want you to have a conversation about um, phonology and pronunciation um, as it walks itself out in um, everyday life. Uh, there are some people who, you know, it's almost inevitable. Once we hear a certain kind of accent, we might develop a mind frame about that individual and their intelligence or their background or their political status or any number of different aspects um, based on the way they speak their words. So let's have a conversation in the authentic questions section about um, how that walks itself out daily life, in the street, in the classroom, um, becoming aware of your own realizations like, um, have you ever noticed that a lot of the bad guys on movies have British accents? So, and these types of things, and what do they speak to? Um, looking forward to reading through that discussion, and um, you'll see over the course of the week as I go through and I um, am scoring and feeding back on your, giving feedback on your assignments, and as always, do not hesitate to contact me if you've got a question about anything. I'd be happy to answer those questions as quickly as possible. I hope you guys are enjoying the sunshine and um, that this week goes smoothly for you, and I guess we'll see you next week.